It's Monday, June 7th, and I have 29 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. Before I get started, I just want to give a big thank you to everybody that came to Cincinnati this past weekend for the reseller rally. We had so much fun. The weather was great. I got to meet so many awesome people. So guys, just thank you so much. That was an awesome time. I didn't record it all on the boat. I just wanted to have fun with everybody and really just put all my attention on the guests there and make sure they all have a good time. So no video will be on my channel of it, but if you search reseller rally on YouTube, I think you'll find some videos that other people made. All right, I went ahead and pulled a few things that I'm shipping. First is a uh, sale outside of eBay. This coach uh, wallet, I'm sorry, this coach wallet and this coach purse that I picked up at a garage sale for a dollar each. I think it's been two weeks ago now. Those are going out to a viewer named Jennifer for $40 free shipping. And then the next few things I pulled from the basement. First is this Mizuno Frenzy Bat. Softball, fast pitch bat. I've had it for like a year. Not in very good condition. Grip's pretty worn. The bat's kind of beat up. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Then I sold this John Deere hat. This was in that big lot of hats I got from Danny of Pickle Resellers. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And lastly, I sold this Norsk, uh, like Norway Fisherman wool sweater. That sold for $49.99 plus shipping. I paid $15 for that about three months ago. And that is going on to your name, Brett. Jennifer and Brett, thanks so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Next thing going out is a video game in this little D3 bin. It is Metroid for NES. That sold for $27.99, free shipping. Next is two diecast cars, and they're both in D21. I've had both of these for maybe a year or so. I had each of them listed for $9.99 plus shipping. Uh, your name John reached out and offered $15 plus shipping for the pair, and I said that works for me. John, thank you for the business. I hope you like those cars. Next, we've got some pins going out. These are the Pilot Wings pins from Delta. I've had a huge box of these and I've just been slowly selling them off. I sell them in lots of four. So let's go ahead and pull four of these. They sold for $11.99 free shipping going out to a viewer named Reagan. Reagan, thank you so much for the support. All right, we're pulling some more video games. Next is in C52. Right over here, I just picked this up last week as part of a bulk deal. It is Star Fox Assault for GameCube. That sold for $49.99 free shipping. Next we're going to D51. Sold Mario Tennis for GameCube. I'm sorry, Mario Power Tennis. That sold for $31.99 free shipping. Okay, next order has two things. First is this candlestick phone right here on D5. This thing is awesome. I got this a few weeks ago as part of a bulk buy, so I maybe got $10, $15 into it, something like that. And the second thing the buyer got is an A41 right here. This is an Oleg Cassini Crystal Cross. Both these items are going as a viewer named Steven, and he messaged me about doing like, you know, a combo deal on them, and I said that's fine. So the pair sold for $75 plus shipping. Steven's also bought for me in the past. So Steven, thank you so much for all the support, man. I really appreciate it. Sold another video game, Rocky and Bullwinkle for NES in the box. It has a little plastic protector and everything. That sold for $39.99 free shipping. I'm sorry, $39.99 plus shipping. Next thing's up on C1. This is an inflatable for Nightmare Before Christmas. I've done really well with these lately. I'm gonna start looking for them more often because but you do see them out and about. This one sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Sold Final Fantasy in E51. This is Final Fantasy VIII for PS1. This sold to a viewer named Christopher for $19.99 free shipping. Christopher, thanks for the business. I hope you like that game. Next item is an E32. This is something I've had about nine months. It's been a pretty long time. I got quite a few of these reel to reels. This one was new in the plastic. It is Jim Neighbors by request. You guys might recognize him as Gilmer Pyle from the Andy Griffith Show. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. All right, we're going back to D3. I sold another NES game. This one is Silver Surfer. No box for this one, but it sold for $29.99 free shipping. Sold some lawnmower blades right up here. I have sold quite a few of these and somebody bought my last two. So I am finally sold out of them. I got maybe a dozen of these. 
from that eBay store buyout, and they've done really well for me. These two sold for $35.98 plus shipping going to the same buyer, so I'll just put them in the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. All right, next we're coming in here to this room. Sold something at F51. These Babylon women's tennis shoes. I got these at a garage sale. Gosh, it's been a while, maybe a year. I've had these a long time. I just kept having to lower the price and they finally sold. I paid $2 for them and they sold for $11.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing I sold is this Brother typewriter. This was actually left behind for the guy that used to work in this office, now my landlord. And he told me to just sell whatever was left over. And he said he didn't want this, so I went ahead and sold it. Uh, it's an SX400. That sold for $69.99 plus shipping. Next is down an A61. It is this little giant i think it's a pump accessory that sold for 24.99 plus shipping i sold a service repair manual this is something i've had for quite a long time probably a year or longer it's for chevy camaros between 1970 to 1981. you can do okay with repair manuals some of them sell for a lot more than others this one i paid maybe a quarter for it sold for 9.99 plus shipping all right, next thing we're going over to E5. Sold this pair of Bose speakers. I got these at a garage sale. I think it's been like three weeks now. And it was just a big stack of electronics that the guy had. And I didn't even ask for the price. I just looked at it and the guy's like, give me 50 bucks for that whole stack of electronics. And I was like, you know what? I'll buy them. So from that $50 buy, I already sold one of the pieces it was like a sony equalizer i want to say and i got i think i got 40 or 50 for that so i maybe had like five or ten into that one and then another like five or ten into these i guess if you want to break it down and these sold for 69.99 plus shipping next thing's an 832 it is a video game star wars 2 knights of the old republic for original xbox this sold for 17.99 free shipping all right let's take a break from packing and see what brennan has going out today what's well, up man going on what is the coolest thing you're shipping out today the coolest thing i'm shipping out today or maybe the most profitable oh well i'm shipping out a whole bunch <laughs> of laser discs i don't have any really big big sales here there's just really solid 15 to 10 15 dollar items a lot but of I, bread and butter yeah but i will say this guy here magic math multiplication i don't know if anyone remembers these but you push the button and it tells you that the number cool. behind it so it's um something to keep the kids learning but off screens yeah right um so i paid three bucks for this and this sold for thirty dollars nice for the set of three yeah thirty bucks for the set of three so oh that was pretty cool that's probably the most random random thing so for anybody watching that doesn't know where you got all these laser discs from what's the story on these oh my gosh so lonnie after i think most of you guys probably know lonnie uh was going to purchase these 1100 laser discs from uh one of his buddies, Jim, he ended up saying he didn't really need it and let me uh, hop in on the deal. So I've got 1,100 laser discs. There was 19 bins. We've gone through a good portion. I think we've got six or eight bins left to go through, and they're awesome. They're flying off the shelves, they're, it looks they're, like. They're flying. And I will say for resellers, everything you know about reselling kind of goes out the window. With, with laser discs. discs. <laughs> it's like I, half of these that I've sold, there were no sold comps for. I just, if they look weird, just post them. Someone will nice. likely buy them. So The weirder, the better. The weirder, the better. Absolutely. And the smuttier, the better. People like their smut. We're keeping it smutty around here. Yeah, that's the way we do it. Next item is another big one. I went ahead and pulled it down because I was measuring it, trying to find a box. This is a 200 CD storage, uh, like spinner and player. I got this at a garage sale maybe three weeks ago. I bundled it with some other items. So I've probably got about $20 into it. This sold for $89.99 plus shipping. Next thing's in C52. This is a Rick and Morty portal gun keyring light, also from that eBay store buyout. I only have one of these left now. That sold for $19.99 free shipping. Sold another video game in B32. Metroid Echoes for GameCube. That sold for $69.99 free shipping. Going back to D3. I guess I could have just pulled all these at one time. That would have made sense, right? Let's see. This is Arkista's Ring. Arkista's Ring. Might be mispronouncing that. This is for NES. It sold for $59.99 free shipping. We're keeping the streak of video games going. Coming to A32 next. NFL Street 2 for Xbox sold. 
and that brought $13.99 free shipping. Sold a hat over here in E41. This is something I've had for quite some time. I'd say definitely longer than a year. It is Dynamo, and I think it's a soccer team. Just a cool trucker hat with the rope on there. I think I might have had this originally posted for like $20 or $30, kept lowering the price. It finally sold for $9.99 plus shipping. That hat's going out to a viewer named David, and he says, What's up, man? Been subscribed for a while now. Thanks for the videos. You introduced me to the Mojo Casher crew, and then I found out about the vintage clothing community. I've been doing that recently, mostly catered towards bigger folks like myself, size double XL and up. A shout out of my Instagram and Depop would be super kind of you, at Indy Yinzer. David, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Last thing we are shipping out today is an A42. This is a remote for a Sony CD changer. I thought it was the one for that CD changer because they were together, but it's not the right one. Uh, it does work fine though, so I decided to list it separately, and this sold for $34.99 free shipping. It's Tuesday afternoon. I have seven things to ship out. First is over here in this D5 bin. It is a Futurama game for PS2, but it's actually only the case. I got this in a bulk lot of games and random stuff. Um, if the game was in this, it'd be worth around $200, but as it is, it's just the case. Uh, the manual is in there too, uh, but it's still sold for $49.99 free shipping. Pulling another thing out of D5. Let's see, matter of fact, I think a couple things out of here. So let me just pull all these out of here and we'll see. I know that Mario Sunshine sold. So I'll move this out of the way. Um, this is only the case and manual. That's sold for $19.99 free shipping. Kirby Air Ride, that's also the case and manual. That sold for $39.99 free shipping. Next thing's an Xbox right here. I just picked up a set of garage sale last weekend. I paid 40 bucks for everything, and it also included the uh, Guitar Hero Live game with the dongle and the guitar and I listed those separately and then I listed the Xbox with the two controllers and the games and they sold for $89.99 plus shipping. Next thing is in C4. It is two packs of Jurassic Park stickers. He sold for $13.99 free shipping. What else have you named Tyler? Tyler says, I just want to say I appreciate your videos. I've been using eBay as supplemental income for a while now, but I finally got the green light from the wife to do it full time. It's been a decent first month, but I'm hoping to do even better. Watching your videos has taught me a lot, and it doesn't hurt that it's entertaining. Thanks again. Tyler, congrats on going full time, man. I wish you nothing but the best of luck. Next, we're going to D32. Sold a pair of jeans. These are Levi's 541 Athletic Tapers. I got these in that eBay store buyout. They sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Last thing we're shipping is a Funko Pop. This is the Unicorn Chase Edition from Onward. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. It's Wednesday afternoon. I have six eBay orders to ship out, but first I got a couple of questions I want to answer. First question is from DJC1978. Thanks for the videos. As a fellow reseller, I have found that boxing the items up after the item has been photographed and listed has dramatically increased my handling times. Do you do something similar? So I don't box everything up after I list it, um, mostly just for like space sake. Because if I box it all up, the, you know, the box is going to be bigger than the item and it's going to be harder to store all of it. So I have never done it that way, but it would definitely save a lot of time on shipping it. Because when it sells, you just pick it up, the box is ready to go, you just weigh it, or maybe you already did weigh it, and you could get stuff out a lot quicker. I could see how that would definitely save time. The only other thing that would be my hesitation on doing that is I do a purge of my items like once every, I don't know, six months, something like that. So if something... I've had sitting around for a long time. I've lowered the price and it's not selling. I'll just go ahead and just pull that and just donate it or put it in a garage sale or something. So that could be a little bit of extra work, I guess, for those items that don't actually end up selling. Next is from Mary Dan Boys. I hope I pronounced that right, Mary. John, why don't you order the free boxes, bags, and tape from eBay with a coupon from having a store? I get $50 free supplies every three months from eBay with my coupon. Yeah, I get the $50 too. Um, what's it called? Like the Premier Store or something like that? That gives you the $50 credit. What I use my credit for are these bubble mailers. Um, I have two different sizes of these. I really like them. They're not particularly cheap. <laughs> um, if I was just going to buy them, you know, straight out, I wouldn't get them through eBay because they're more expensive, but you got to use that coupon on something. And that's what I use mine for. All right. First thing going out today is a video game up here in D3. It is in the box Rampage. Really clean too. Got this as part of a um, NES collection by about three weeks ago, I think it's been. This sold for $49.99 plus shipping. 
Next is down E6. It is a Funko Pop. I think it's hiding all the way in the back here. Here we go. This is Killer Croc from Batman Arkham Asylum. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Buyer didn't leave a note, but I recognize the username David the NC Picker bought this. David, thank you for your support. I hope you like the Funko Pop. Sold another boxed video game over here in D5. This is Anticipation. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Going to B31 next. Sold something that I've had for quite some time. I've had this at least for six months or more. I got this in a bulk buy from my guy Mike. It is a battery pack for a Sony camera. Sold for $17.99 free shipping. Sold another game in D5. Cobra Triangle. Also for NES. That sold for $37.99 plus shipping. Last order we're pulling is two cars in D31. They're both Corvettes. One is purple and one is red. I got these from an online auction maybe three, four months ago. I think I've got about 10 or $12 a car. So they really didn't turn out to be great sellers. The pair sold for $39.98 to the same buyer and I'll just combine them in the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. All right guys, Brandon has been looking through those laser discs and he just found a pretty good one. I found a great bin of laser discs guys. This was called Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. They charge an arm and a leg. This is the type of stuff. If you see a bin of laser discs, this is what you want to look for. Um, it's not the popular movies. It's the B horror crap movies that sell. Um, just found this one. There is a comp for 150. It just sold recently. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. So that's what I'm going to list it for. That is awesome. Got uh, yeah. I've got about 10 more in this bin. That seems to be his his bin of smut. <laughs> bin of smut. Bin of smut. So yeah. So if you had to test these, or are they all really clean? They are all really clean. Um, I was thinking about getting a laser displayer though, just because I'm actually kind of starting to enjoy this a little bit too much. Yeah. I'm actually, I'm actually going to buy 60 more laser discs today for 70 bucks. Wow. So yeah. You might just turn into a collector. Yeah. Or I'm, I might open a laser disc laser disc store. You never know. We got plenty of room in here. Yeah. Come shop laser disc. But yeah, it, I'm I'm kind of curious to see why so many people like are, are the laser disc. To buy these. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, from my what guess I've, would be the quality is probably substantially better than VHS. That's what I've heard. But like something like this, I mean, I have no idea. But it probably didn't come on DVD. You know what I mean? Probably not. Probably not. Oh yeah. So the speaking of that, the Nicolas Cage one that I sold for one seventy five. I was doing the research on that. It was the last. Uh, printed laser disc in North America. Wow. In 2000. So that's so that why makes it a collector. That makes it Interesting. a collector's item. Yeah. All right, guys, look out for laser discs. Yep. Have fun with them. It's Thursday morning. I have 10 eBay orders to ship out. First thing is this Desert Storm hat. It's a trucker hat. It's got a mesh back. And the buyer also got something down here at E6. This Day with Pikachu ringing in the fun uh, figure. Same two sold for $34.98 plus shipping. I didn't say that they're a viewer, but Joseph, if you're watching this, thank you so much for the support, man. I really appreciate it. Next thing's on C2. It is this Guitar Hero Live game for Xbox 360 with a guitar, and the dongle is inside the case. These were part of that Xbox 360 buy I made at a garage sale two weeks ago. I paid $40 for everything. I sold the Xbox and controllers and games for $90 plus shipping, and then these sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next thing is in B31. It is Highlander, The Raven, New in the Plastic. I got this at a garage sale about a month ago. I got this and then the rest of the Highlander like complete series, seasons like one through six. I paid 20 for everything and I sold the other Highlander set for like $60 or $70. And then this I had listed for $40 free shipping. Somebody offered $32 free shipping and I accepted. Next thing is a bobblehead, and I guess I forgot to put an inventory code when I listed it. It is Cincinnati Reds Star Wars bobblehead. It's like the X-Wing fighter or something, and I'm not totally sure where it is. Here it is, F41. I had this listed for $24.99 plus shipping, and I sent out an offer for $17 plus shipping. And a viewer named Greg accepted. Greg, thank you for the business. I hope you like the bobblehead. All right, we're going back to C2. I sold a yearbook. And I've got it in a box right here. This is a 1913 yearbook from Otterbein College or University. Really, really cool piece. 
it's a little rough um, that's why I kept it in a box because I didn't want it to deteriorate anymore but this is just such an awesome old yearbook I got this in a book by probably like three months ago so I might have five ten bucks into it something like that this sold for $24.99 plus shipping and the yearbook is going to ask if your name Jared Jared thank you so much for your support okay next we're going to D41 I sold a pair of Levi's these right here, $5.59 relaxed fit, new with the tags. They're part of that eBay store buyout. Those sold for $29.99. Going out to your name, Joseph. Joseph messaged me asking for some stickers. So, Joseph, thank you for the business. I'll definitely throw in some stickers for you. Pulling out a Funko out of here in E6. This is Rubber Man from the American Horror Story. I got this in a recent bulk buy. And this one is pretty highly sought after. This sold for $69.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing's in D3. It is an NES game. Guardian Legend, this one right here, that sold for $19.99 for shipping. Next we're going to E41. It is an Offspring cassette tape, and I went ahead and put it in some bubble wrap because it has the original plastic on it, but the plastic has a little bit of a tear, so I didn't want that to tear even more than it was. So I went ahead and put it in some bubble wrap. That sold for $19.99 free shipping, going out to a viewer named Zach. Zach, thanks so much for the support, man. It means a lot. Okay, we got another Funko going out down here in E6. It is Franken Freddy wearing a crown that sold for $24.99 plus shipping coming out to your name Jesse. Jesse says, just started watching the channel. I did not think I would ever binge watch somebody pack orders and go to yard sales, but here I am. Love the channel. Jesse, I don't know why anybody else watches this either, but I definitely appreciate it. And thank you so much for the support. It's Friday morning. I have nine eBay orders to ship out. But before I do, I want to give a special birthday wish to Robbie. I meant to do it yesterday. Yesterday was his birthday. So, Robbie, I apologize about that, but happy birthday, buddy. All right, first thing going on is an A32. It is a Spider-Man game for Xbox. Right here, I've got about a dollar into that. That sold for $13.99, free shipping. Next is a video game right here in D5. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this whole bin because I sold more than one. First one is Burger Time for NES with the box. Box had a couple of condition issues, but not that bad. That sold for $44.99 plus shipping. Next thing that sold out of here is Metal Gear for NES. I decided to do an auction for this because the box had some scratches. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So I wasn't sure how much it would affect the value. I did the auction starting at a dollar and it sold for $148.50 plus shipping. And last thing we're pulling out of here is Super Smash Brothers Melee for GameCube. This is just the uh, case. There's no manual, no game, nothing like that. So I made sure I pointed that out. That sold for $19.99 free shipping. Okay, I sold some Jurassic Park stickers. It is a set of yellow and a set of red. These sold for $13.99 free shipping going out to a viewer named Darren. Darren says, hey John, watch your videos and really appreciate the great content. I've been inspired to try to start a YouTube channel also, Red Bird Picker, also on Instagram. I hope to make it to the next reseller rally whenever that takes place. These stickers will be for my son's birthday who will be six at the end of July. I would appreciate it if I could talk you out of some CP stickers for me. Keep up the great work and thanks for the great videos, Darren the Red Bird Picker. Darren, thanks for your support. Happy birthday to your son and I'll definitely throw in some stickers for you. Next thing going out is a game in D3. It is Dr. Mario for NES in the box. That sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a statue right next to it. I actually have two of these. This is a Two-Face statue from Batman. I got this as part of a bulk buy with some Funkos and stuff a couple weeks ago. Look at that. That is just really cool. That sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Okay, I sold two more sets of these Jurassic Park stickers. One person bought just the stickers and then another buyer bought the stickers in those delta wings that i have so let me bring these over here here are the wings and four wings and the stickers sold for 25.98 free shipping buyer didn't say they're a viewer but i have a feeling they are <laughs> didn't leave a name it just says g marzello so if you're watching this thank you so much for the support last thing i'm shipping out today is on b3 it is this Sleeping Beauty Castle with Mickey Mouse. This is a Funko Pop I recently picked up. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And a couple of viewers bought this for their baby son, Eli. Guys, thank you so much for the support. I hope Eli likes it. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.